All right, today we're gonna to be making a change to the bed. Not super, super hyped with how it is. It's been working for the last few months, six months, eight months, whatever it's been. But we recently just picked up this twin mattress four inch memory topper, which we're gonna put diagonally inside of here. Instead of just have one big flat area, we're gonna cut this section out so that we have a place to sit up and then we can drop our table down right here place our laptop, put some food, whatever it is up there, and just have a nice spot to chill inside of the camper. And for me to fit comfortably laid out, I do gotta go this way anyways. So it works out. I'm gonna test it out, pull this stuff out of here, see what we can do about changing this bed up. I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna happen yet, but stay tuned and let's find out. this was our base before you can see if we can't figure out maybe just put them sideways maybe that'll do it there's the bed in all of its glory so I want this to go up there I got this piece of cardboard I'm gonna to try to use to cut out so I can do a trial run without messing up the foam get it nice tucked up in there so we're just eyeballing where that's gonna meet marking it there and then we're just going to use this to line up straight line. Now I'm just going to use the foam, mark another straight line, going that way. There's the razor. Alright, we're going to use this bigger piece, actually. Make some room. Grab this. out so a secret little hack to do that so come over here just throw a straight line on that with the side take this put your mark and then when you cut it you just flip it around see how it fits oh we forgot to take into consideration that bump Let's fix that all right, we did our little hack job on that. It's probably not gonna fit perfectly, but it doesn't matter, as long as it fits. Let's see. All right, bed's coming along. Storage all the way. Storage over here. So we need to L it out, let's see. How are we going to do that? We're just going to leave it going just like that. Leave a little bit more space right here and then we'll be able to sit more facing outwards. We got that area back there for where we can put some storage or backpack, whatever we may need to do. We still have all of this under here for camping gear, toolbox. Now I'm thinking about cutting these to fit over the top of that now, just to give it the extra support because down the middle there's really nothing with these. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Let's see. Hmm. Kind of works.
Okay, so we've moved forward. We threw this back down on top of the support here because we are going to cut it all perfectly, trim it down. We threw in the foam pad, got it out, see how it fits. As we thought, we're going to have to cut a little bit off here, cut a little bit off there. Started to already. Just hacking it away with this. Probably not the best tool, but it works. Um, and then we're going to put this piece up in the head space up there. Or maybe this, not sure exactly. But let me keep hacking away at this and then we'll get right back with you. So we got through this top softer layer and we're getting into this thicker layer. And it's actually a lot easier to cut the thicker stuff with this razor blade than it was this top layer. So there's hope at the end of the tunnel. And that's it, who's hungry? So good enough, we're gonna cover this up so we're not really gonna see it. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna have to use a bigger piece for up here. Alrighty, no problem. We got all this to work with. So let me get hacking. Definitely got a big enough piece to put up here now. So just, we might be able to shove this exactly how it is up here. Actually, yeah. That'll do it. So we still have to come over here and cut these cut these and then we're getting almost there but this is a lot comfier than it was that's really nice we're gonna be able to come in here open that and sit up so we got three feet of headroom it's dialed now we just need to get this leg room cut out set this up once the weight of the beds on it and everything's inside of it this stuff doesn't go anywhere so I'm not worried about it so that's pretty much it kind of looks like a boat doesn't it all right we got the front in this one piece came attached I'm gonna try to reattach it maybe later but let's get this side in there now So we got our coffin in there. Let's get these foam boards. See how easy this bed is. Three. Pretty good. Seems to be pretty dialed in.
here. Make sure that's pulled out to here. And that one is pulled out to there. It's running along right on the edge. So the support is where it needs to be. So to keep the scrap in nature alive of this bed, I think I come up with an idea for this piece. We're gonna put it right there, cut it out a little bit so that we can put some phone, drinks, whatever over here too while we're sleeping. Have this and this. Not bad. All the headroom, whatever we could ever want. And then there's storage under here too. Maybe we could put our, our bags or something there. We're gonna cut this with a nice little curve for that piece right there cut a little drink holder out Half my lights aren't working, I don't know why. But I guess they're just cheap. gonna do something to cover this up we might just go with this exact thing and just do that there and keep in mind we also put that piece right here which we're gonna cover up as well make them a little bit more permanent in there so I got a little spot to hang the hat hang the keys hang a jacket hang a calendar storage over here storage over here a little shelf up here as well as this guy that folds down. We got our battery sitting up there, plugged into the lights. You know, it'll be pretty comfortable in here at night. Uh, spin around. Check it out. It's not bad. And this is three feet tall from here to there. Three feet. So you know I mean can sit up. No problem. Sit over here. Still got all the headroom in the world. So we can do what we need to do here. Put some stuff there. It's not bad. I like it. I might just sleep out here tonight. My girlfriend's gonna be wondering where I'm at. I'm send her a picture of the fire. I say, why aren't you here? Just kidding, I wish this could fit both of us. You get a bigger truck, but for now this works. I gotta sleep sideways, but it's not too bad. All right, we're just gonna hit this button, kill the lights, enjoy this fire for a minute, and then we are gonna see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in.